My big dream is um, what I call pervasive robotics. A future where um, robots are available to anybody, anywhere, where it's as easy to use a robot as it is to use a smartphone today. Robots are not replacements for humans. Because robots are really good at some things, and they're really not so good at others. Robots are also not as good as we are at figuring things out, at communication, at interaction, and even at tasks that involve manipulation, especially when it is about doing very fine manipulation that involves delicate objects like paper or vegetables in the kitchen, uh, things like that. So I really believe in a future with more humans and robots working together, where the humans and robots make symbiotic teams where the robots will do their thing and then robots will be able to communicate with people in natural language and ask for help. One application we settled on um, has to do with removing batteries that are accidentally swallowed. In the US alone about 3,500 batteries get swallowed by kids and removing the batteries is very important so you we make an origami robot that's the size of a pill and then we freeze it. So we put the origami robot in an ice capsule. So then you swallow the ice capsule and when the robot gets inside the stomach, the body heat melts the ice and then the robot unfolds in its three-dimensional structure. And then the robot has a magnet in it and an external magnetic field can be used to direct the robot where the battery is. And then the robot makes uh, contact with the battery, pulls it out of the stomach, and then eliminates it through the digestive system. Computing is the mega trend, and computing is a superpower in my opinion. I think that uh, if you know how to make things, and if you know how to program them, you have a superpower, you can do anything.